Good evening. It is Chris Crocker here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. A lot to talk about with some strong winds developing overnight. So let's get uh, right to it. Here are four things that you need to know about the weather. The winds will be increasing this evening and overnight, potentially damaging winds uh, on the way. In fact, uh, expected. They are expected. Rain overnight as well. If things taper off a little bit at your house this evening, those winds will be picking up again overnight with heavy mountain snow. Snow levels up between four and 5,000 feet, so it really is going to be mountain snow. Here's the wind advisory for the area. It goes into effect at two in the morning. Morning. Actually, 2 in the morning for east from Washington. Now, it holds off until 3 in the morning for north Idaho. But let's just say while you're sleeping, uh, this wind advisory goes into effect. Southwest winds 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts to 55 miles per hour. The locations most likely to see those very highest gusts, and they will be sporadic, not widespread 55 mile per hour gusts. Uh, Spokane, down through Pullman, and the ridge tops in the mountain areas of Northeast Washington and North Idaho. Coeur d'Alene, 50 mile per hour winds. Uh, regardless, anytime you're in that 50 to 55 mile per hour range, uh, you could see some substantial damage. Power outages and down power lines, uh, two of the, the biggies trees down and all of the hassles and problems that causes not just broken branches but minor minor tree damage will be widespread uh, with the potential for more significant uh, tree damage in those areas where we're seeing those higher gusts some structural damage possible as well as difficult travel uh, with high profile vehicles on those crosswinds uh, that is certainly going to be an issue here are some numbers to report power outages um 800 i'm not going to read those you can see them Avista, Inland Power and Light, and Kootenai Electric. Uh, is, pick your favorite provider there and jot that number down just in case because, boy, the faster you report them, the faster they can get on the road to making things right. Your forecast tonight, rainy and windy. Wind gusts will be up to 40 miles per hour in the early part of the overnight. It is tomorrow early morning where the winds really get going. Here's a look at your 24 hour forecast and you, the w rain will increase in intensity overnight. Here's 2 a.m. when the wind advisory goes into effect. You'll notice those southwesterly winds uh, in, uh, increasing. Look at Pullman. <laughs> that is really, really getting hammered uh, by the winds. Those will continue becoming more westerly. Here's 8 o'clock tomorrow morning uh, showing mostly dry conditions. Still the chance of some lingering showers, uh, but a westerly wind there. Um, still the potential for some strong gusts. But as we get into tomorrow afternoon, sky's clear. I think we're going to see sunshine most of the day tomorrow. But right around 3, 4 o'clock, about the time the wind advisory expires, the winds come to almost a complete stop. I think it's going to be a calm night, and hopefully it won't be a night full of cleanup. 48-hour forecast. System zips through in the early morning hours. Once it is long gone, we are going to be left in a dry northwesterly flow. That's going to cool things down, calm things down, and uh, we should get a little more sunshine out of the deal. Overnight lows tonight look more like highs tomorrow with temperatures in the 30s and 40s. In fact, these numbers would be above average for highs. Highs tomorrow in the 40s and 50s. We'll hit these highs early in the day, probably around noon, and then uh, start cooling off. Here is your forecast, the extended forecast. We'll be cooling all the way down to 24 degrees. Sunny on Thursday and calmer. Thursday may be the best day of the week. Then the clouds start moving back in. There's the possibility of some mountain snow through the seven day forecast off and on. Nothing significant, but it looks like we're gonna be staying dry and relatively calm down in the valleys. Uh, temperatures right around average, if not a little bit above. Long range forecasts, I've been looking at those. I think we are in for a cold snap coming sometime next week. 
So I will keep you updated on that. But in the meantime, let's make it through the next 24 hours in one piece. Batten hatches. And um, I hope that things stay nice and safe and secure where you're, you are. I'll have an update tonight on 4 News Now. Nightside, of course, Mark Peterson will be here tomorrow morning in the thick of it uh, to keep you updated on the winds and our weather app. It is glorious. Download it and partake of the weather in that method if you so choose. See you tomorrow.